and welcome back to uh, In The Red Corner and as most of you will be aware now um, we've announced it that we've uh, that our new gaffer as new head coach at Oatwell at Marcus uh, Shop um, I think that's how you pronounce his name um, I don't really know too much about him apart from obviously you know what's on um, online and whatnot. Um, but uh, yeah looks like he's had uh, you know some good experience in game looks like he's represented uh, his country as well um, I know it doesn't usually uh, translate over to management but it can only be a good thing that um, yeah uh, three year deal I think that's uh, a good uh, a, a good length uh, a contract that's providing if there's no uh, none of this contract buyout clause thing so if he does like have it here for good season we is you know we wait let him go for next and out um so that's what i'm uh, i'm hoping um but let's hope he's right fella to um guide us um in right direction again like we did last year and it'd be interesting now if he fetches in um his own coaching staff even his own players you know um who we get in who we let go um i mean we'll mow it uh, still go to West Brom um, personally I think he will um, I think if he won't I think he would have signed by now uh, if I'm honest uh, but you never know, you never know in football um, but uh, yeah uh, Marcus Sharp, uh, not probably most people's first pick um, again like I said I don't think most people had uh, you know, uh, have much info on him but that doesn't mean no um, we didn't on Stendhal, um, we didn't on, well, I didn't on Val, to be honest, um, didn't on Struber, uh, and, you know, when we appointed them, they did the jobs, what we wanted them to do, um, yeah, we would have liked them to stay a bit longer, I think that's his only downfall, um, but, you know, that's football, that is football, sometimes you're on it hiding to out, um, if you're not doing well, uh, managers will either walk or get sacked. If you are doing well, uh, you're going to lose them. So you, you can't really win sometimes, uh, especially uh, you know like a club like us. But I suppose it, in most cases, I think uh, a lot of clubs are in a uh, similar boat, um, whether uh, you're us, Man United, or whatever. Uh, if a player's doing well, you know, always other clubs are going to be looking. I'm sure. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just glad it's of a and done, uh, done with, uh, done quite quick. Uh, I believe it was the first day back in training yesterday, uh, which I thought was a little bit odd because usually they put pictures on uh, on website and on the Twitter, um, you know, showing um, first day training and whatnot with squad. Um, so whether they didn't do that because uh, manager or the uh, you know, looking over things and they didn't want him to be in pictures and, you know, like leak it before it was officially announced, I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, it probably explains why, um, well, I, I didn't see any um, pictures about uh, first day training back for lads. Uh, but, yeah, it'll be interesting now. Um, like I say, the, we've got pre-season coming up, pre-season friendlies. Um, like I say, who is it going to fetch in? Who is it going to favour? What system does he play? Um, I ain't got a clue what system he plays. Uh, whether somebody else says, you know, just let me know. Like, but I don't know if are we going to be playing the same system as what Val did? Are we going to go back to a four four two? I don't know. Uh, again, um, we, we might need players in to fit his style of football if it's not the same style that uh, we were used to last season um, so yeah it's all it's all interesting as it always is if you're uh, a Barnsley fan and I'm sure manager um, himself is going to you know um, see eyes and lows um, I think that's part and parcel uh, following Barnsley Football Club um, but that, that's what that's what we all like though isn't it um, it's better than you know <laughs> Uh, these people who um, supports or supposedly um, supports like Man United, Chelsea, and 
you know, they've never been to games or they're not even in that area, but I'm not going to get started on that. That's I could do a video for about eight, eight an hour to three months on that one, I think. Um, but yeah, that, that's part and parcel of being a, a Reds fan. So it, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be good. Um, I've got a good feeling about this fella. I think um, I think he's going to be all right. I don't know why. I've just got uh, a feeling. Um, I mean, like I say, it's not the first choice for most fans. I would think. I think people wanted, and and I did. I'd have liked to have seen uh, Chris Welder uh, in. Um, but I also said as well that's not real, that we go down. Um, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, realistically, you know, it was never going to happen. Uh, but uh, like, so let's give this fellow a go, uh, a try, and I think he'll be all right. Honestly, do. Uh, we just need to uh, try and get um, Mowit to stay. But again. Um, if I'm honest, I, I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, it would have signed already, but we'll see. Um, we'll see, and what, like I said, we'll see what other players he fetches in, and also that he wants uh, moving art because he'll uh, he'll have an idea whether it's from um, you know um, current members of staff at Oakwell, um, uh, but they'll 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 know already, even though you know he's not only new to Barnsley but new to uh, England uh, football, but yeah, he'll uh, he'll know who he wants and, and who he wants to let go. So yeah, just thought I'd do a quick uh, video. Uh, yeah, welcome to Barnsley, uh, Marcus. Um, I'm all, I'm behind you 100. percent I think you'll be uh, all right at all. Well, let's uh, you know let's get cracking now. We've also um, I've seen we've got a few young players for under 23s um, which is good uh, you know that's core at club if we can produce some good players from there always a bonus um, th them two I can't remember the name if I'm honest but uh, they do seem you know highly thought on um, and also I think a few sign uh, pro uh, contracts as well but you know obviously they really down in pecking order and you know learning stages but uh, yeah it's all good we just need some uh, clarity now on what's happening with this team like like so like Mowat and um, other people um, but we'll see and um, there we go uh, so yeah like I said welcome to well uh, uh, Mr Shop <laughs> and uh, can't wait for first game back at Oakwell you Reds bye bye